are enjoying a beautiful January day. I think this is our covered in January thaw. What is the temperature today, Aaron? It's like 40 degrees. 40 degrees. I feel, I'm feeling like 50 here in the sun. Um, it is the 18th of January today. It's Wednesday. And we just hooked up our solar system. The solar panel we're using, because we're using a 12 volt system, it's a 12 volt solar panel, 30 watts, which is pretty much what we would need to charge our things. Solar panel by Renogy. We got it for about 50 bucks off Amazon. When it's not outside of the trailer charging all of our stuff, we're going to be building a mount for it up here inside the lid. And hopefully we'll be able to cushion it enough for it's not rattling it around as we're going down the road. But if you come a little closer, we have a SeaTech D250S dual uh, unit. It's a battery charger. It has the dual in the name because it uses dual input. This here uses input from the bike, the alternator, the battery up front. And this here uses input from the solar panel, which we have sitting outside right now. Our solar panel is connected to a 15 foot lead. So we can have it that far from the trailer if we need to in order to get the best sunlight for it. And this is the output, which goes to charge this battery. That service battery is going to run our cool trailer lights that we put in yesterday. And we'll run some USB chargers uh, for our bike um, communicators and uh, cameras. And then here is our main connection. This is where the harness goes through the trailer frame and comes out right up here. And that powers all of our stuff back here. The blinkers, the brake lights, all that stuff. But this battery back here will be running our USB chargers and our lid lights that we put in. We're pretty happy that this SeaTech works. I mean, I guess we didn't doubt that it would, but it's cool to see it in, installed, and running, and char actively charging that battery as we speak. That solar panel charges at 14.7 volts in uh, clear view of sunlight. We had it in a different area where half of it was shaded and it had dropped down to 13.27 uh, volts. So it definitely is affected by shade, but 14.7 volts is pretty good. That should charge our stuff up. So this will, this solar system essentially will help us work on stuff like video editing and anything else we would need. Somewhere where we don't have power hookups or anything like that. But yeah, we're pretty excited about this. This was the next big thing for our trailer. The, the fabricating and the woodwork and stuff seemed kind of like the easy part. The solar system was kind of new territory. We've worked with solar panels very briefly before when we were helping a um, animal sanctuary set up their solar array, but that was a huge multi-panel array where we just have one panel and it makes it really easy. Mm -hmm. 